Whoa. I didn't see you come up. You give me a scare. Uh, it's lucky you caught me out here on the porch. Usually I'm in the house or roaming around doing Grant knows what. You know, this house has been in my family for over a hundred years, and the stories I could tell. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm just out here darning my darn jacket. I ripped it the other day when I was down at the old bell place. I don't know about you, but I get the heebie-jeebies when I'm down that way. And the stories that place could tell. What's that? Ooh, you'd like to hear a story, would you now? Well, you insist. What'll it be, a ghost? Uh, I knew that perk your ears up like a dog-tailed jackrabbit. Now, this story takes place not too long ago and not far from these parts. It's true. And it involves a needle, and it'll keep you in stitches. Now, listen, there's money in the cupboard so you can order pizza later, okay? I know, Mom. Oh, and the emergency numbers are on the fringe. I know, Mom. Remember, no friends over, okay? I know, Mom. Now, we're only going to be gone overnight. We're going to look at our new house in Knoxville first thing in the morning. You're going to love it, sweetie. Just a couple more nights, Mary, and we won't have to worry about any of that anymore. You know? I know, Mom. I love you, sweetie. I love you, too. Good night. Good night. Ow, this hurts. Shut up. Spin it already. <laughs> that was fun. I know, I love this game. I was kidding, zipper lips. What are you, like 30 or something? No, I'm a mature 17 year old, thank you. Yeah, well, you mature 17 year olds want to play a real fun game? Where did you get that? Swept it from my stepdad's liquor cabinet. We really shouldn't have that, Carrie. We could get in trouble. We could get in trouble. Yeah, we'll live a little angel tits and drink up. <laughs> <coughs> Hang in there, Lizzie. That's the Tennessee River Devil swimming down your throat. <coughs> well, what next? My mom left some money. We could order a pizza. Let's do it. That shit really burns, y'all. <coughs> <clears throat> oh yeah, we love pepperoni and extra cheese. Lots and lots of extra cheese. Do you have any hot and ready? Because we sure are. <laughs> the address is 1313 Bellmead Place. And when you get here, we might be in the shower. We're awfully dirty. Just come on in. The door will be open. See you soon. Carrie, you're awful. Yeah, at least I come by it honestly. My mom orders like that for real. She's one pizza ass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what time is it? Um, ghost story time. Oh, I hate ghost stories. Can't we just go back to drinking moonshine? Oh. Ah. And he untied the ribbon. Her head fell off. <laughs> Don't do that. You're going to make me pee. Oh, puppy, oh. puppy got a potty. I've got a ghost story, and it's true. Sure you do flounder thighs. Let's hear it. Well, I have an imaginary friend. I've had her ever since I moved in here when I was four. And every night at midnight, she shows up. Here. What's her name? Candy. Sweet. Well, we'll see if old Candy keeps her appointments. It's almost midnight now. friends in the toilet. Lizzie? Where does your mom keep the flashlight? In the kitchen.
Pizza Man. And if I got a special delivery for you. What'd you think? I told you about those stitches. That was a good one, huh? And uh, I tell you another, but well, it appears I have some guests. Sure has been fun spinning yarn with you. I know he will, and it's such a horrible thing that happened to him with those stairs at the hotel this morning. Now, no one's lived in this house in several years, so uh, the door may stick a little bit, but we'll get us in. So here we go. Voila. Oh. Mrs. Bell, welcome home. <laughs> 